Gede. Hey, this is a little robot dog I got at the thrift store. It's like four bucks. All it needed was a set of batteries and a little bit of love. It dances to music and it will respond to a voice. It's pretty neat for four bucks. I think when these came out, they were like 50 bucks. So These lights, these patterns mean how he feels. Kind of like one of those, uh, well, those little toys that kids used to take care of. And he'd be healthy when he'd take care of them. This thing, however, requires music. So, gotta go to the thrift store. You always find a neat stuff there. Well, the router to my CNC machine decided to die on me, and this is the result of it. It was a Craftsman Sears, one horsepower, and it was older vintage. It, uh, it's not a real new one, but it was a good one. And it was a Model 315, you can see it there. And it had uh, all ball bearings, and the construction was quite good. And you know, for a workhorse that would sit on the router and spin for 20 or 30 minutes without stopping, it was real good with heat dissipation as well as, um, you know, true accuracy. It was a little underpowered and it didn't have a variable speed control on it, but other than that, it, uh, it worked very well. What happened is the switch right here that locks the shaft for the tool change um, somehow got turned on when the thing was running and this locking mechanism here uh, tried to lock the shaft and it was unnoticed and it's equivalent to you know putting the uh, car in park as you're driving 55 miles an hour is what happened and it threw the springs and some more shrapnel into the brushes and probably into the coils as well, probably damaging them. So now the motor is completely locked up. It will turn a little bit, but it's, it's ready to go into the garbage. It's been a good router, but it's time to change. One of the reasons why I didn't want to change is because I custom made a route I'm sorry, I custom made a, uh, a mount for my CNC machine around the size of this router. So I really didn't want to change it out. But here's what I ended up with. I went back to Craftsman after checking out Porter Cable and some other ones. And this is about the best deal I found. This was about $100. And then with the extended warranty and the taxes, I guess it was more like 115 or 20. And um, I went with the Craftsman again because you know this one served well as it was being run. So this one's a little bit bigger. This is one and three quarter horsepower here. And um, let's take a look at it. I've already taken it out of the box, but I'll show you what I got with with it even though I probably won't use most of this stuff. Here's a nice bag that came with it here. You can use that for other things. Really heavy duty and padded. And here's the plunging base that came with it. I was really impressed with this you know, plunging base. It's got the locking clamp for the router itself. And um, it's got this, this sliding mechanism. Um, I'm assuming for an attachment that can lock into there. And then this part here locks the actual thing from going up and down. It's got some springs. On this side it has a depth uh, control as well as a depth stop gauge here, which is nice. With predetermined stops you can see here. So, you know, I'm not going to be using this uh, base, which is kind of a shame. But uh, if I build the uh, mount for the router just right, maybe I can take it out of the CNC machine 
and use it in here as well for freehand work even though I don't know if I'll ever do that but uh, here it is temporarily installed I put it in this old mounting system that I used to use and um, this red part here is actually part of the old um, router and I had to use it as a spacer in here so that I was able to get this router in here and fit so I could temporarily use it I also had to modify this plate down here by cutting a hole bigger now all this is temporary um, you know I needed the machine to make the part and I needed the part to make the machine so it's a catch-22 so I just temporarily got it going so that uh, I'm able to make the new mount for it and uh, this will move around if it's handled without care so I need to get it made as soon as possible the thing I like about this new router is it has a speed control on it which my other one didn't have um, for a speed control on the old one I had to use this thing and I plugged this into the wall and then the router plugged into this so I won't need this anymore so that's a plus so I've got my new router temporarily mounted up here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw up the new um, mount and get it cut out so you know I can get this thing mounted up before this one gives away and uh, that's about it on that on to something else can you act like you're talking like you want to say something do you know how to do that okay very good no no yeah um, this is the last part for the arcade cabinet it will be the screen protector for the uh, for the for the front benzel so I'm going to go ahead and fire up this new router and uh, see how it does and then uh, I'm going to have to make a new mount because I'm not liking how I had to mount this up there you can see I had to use old parts this is actually off the old one and I had to use it for a spacer actually <laughs> and I had to do some other crazy things too to get it to work but uh, it should hold up long enough for me to uh, cut this part out plus uh, cut another mount for this all right so let's see how this works Well, I can tell you it cuts really nice. Um, I didn't hear any bogging of the motor, and so that three-quarter uh, horsepower extra that I have there makes a difference. So it's cutting well, and um, you know I won't know a whole lot ab about it until the next couple days when I can really play with it and make a new mount and, and put it through some more challenging cuts. But for now, I think we're back in business, and so this is it for this show. Thanks for watching, guys. Until something else breaks, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.